What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day. So I'm sorry for the terrible lighting, but we had to do this video at night. The other day I made a video about how I thought, thought I fixed the fog light, but it turns out that the fog light is not fixed on the passenger side. So I drove up here uh, to Pocono yesterday, which is about a three hour trip, 170 miles or so. And I realized that my fog light wasn't working again. So what I did was I hopped under the truck. I took apart uh, the front end of the wheel well again to get to the fog light and realized we have a little bit more of a problem, which I will show you a picture in a moment. But first, let's go outside and I'll show you how the fog light doesn't work. No matter what I do to the fog light now, even if I touch it like I did in old videos, it just doesn't work because a wire is actually hanging out of the connector. Check it out. All right, so here's the problem that we're having. This light doesn't come on at all anymore, even if you poke it. If you saw my last video when I did this, the wire was loosely connected, so when you poked it, it would come on and go off as soon as you let off of the light. Now it doesn't come on at all. The wire is completely dislodged. As you can see, the lights are on, and uh, so that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to go behind the light and actually reconnect the wire. Alrighty, so one thing about me, I can do oil changes, I could do tune-ups, I could do tire rotations, I could do part installs, no problem. When it comes to electrical, I like to go to the pros to make sure I'm doing it right. I don't want to cause an electrical fire in the truck or anything like that. Um, so in talking to some of the Toyota techs that I know through Instagram, Twitter, and all that, they basically said that what I need to do is I need to open up the connector, um, put the wire back in and make sure it's properly connected, and, and that's what we're going to do. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I like to give you a heads up on every single thing we do to this truck, whether it be fix something or think we fix something and then go back and do it again. Uh, but I want to keep you guys up to date. It was not just a loose connector. It looked like the wire came loose. And I actually looked and there are some owners out there who complain that um, water and debris gets up and dislodges the wire every once in a while from the fog light. So apparently it's not just me this happened to, but we will fix this and get the light going back together uh, once again. Again, with talking to the Toyota techs, they also said that they've seen this a few times. So we will get back in there. It's not anything catastrophic. We don't need new fog lights or anything like that. It should go right back in, but I wanted to give you guys an update. So let me know what you think. Are you someone who have had this problem before? Let me know in the comments below. Twitter and Instagram at 1024, 1024 gmail.com. You guys have a great night.